It's Dave from Headshot Tools, and in this video, we are going to discuss setting up Lightroom with Headshot Tools. Although our top recommendation for tethering is to use Capture One, you may be more familiar with and prefer to use Lightroom. Lightroom has been adding some powerful new editing features lately, and although their tethering functionality could use some improvement, their other tools are quite good. Tethering into Lightroom directly isn't always the best experience, as it can lose the camera connection and require restarts, but adding Smart Shooter 4 into the mix resolves those issues. Smart Shooter 4 is a lightweight app available for Windows and Mac, solely used for tethering. It supports many Canon, Nikon, and Sony cameras. Since Lightroom does not natively support clipboard contents, we simply use the naming capabilities inside of Smart Shooter to handle both the tethering and the naming of the images, while Lightroom auto imports the original images and then exports the JPEGs or PNGs to headshot tools. Setting up Smart Shooter 4. Smart Shooter 4 is available from the Tether Tools website. You won't need the pro version for this, so if you want, you can just purchase the standard version. It comes with a Lightroom Classic plugin that is currently only available for Sony and Nikon shooters. In this video, we explain how any supported camera, including Canon, can be used without the Lightroom plugin. Once Smart Shooter is installed, open the Preferences, also called Options. Under the General tab, choose what folder you want the images to first land in. Lightroom will then move these out into its own folder soon after. You can also choose the default for whether you want to save to just the computer or to the memory card as well as the computer, which is called the disk. But you can't just save only to card for our purposes. Under the Name Policy tab, type exactly capital U in square brackets, followed by your job name or any text you want to use, followed by a hyphen and S4 in square brackets. Then, under automatically fill from clipboard, click unique tag. So here's what's happening. The U and the brackets will be replaced by the headshot tools prefix, and the S4 in the brackets will generate a four-digit counter. Everything is now set up in Smart Shooter to handle both the tethering and the file naming. Now, on to Lightroom. Setting up Lightroom Classic. First, open or create a new catalog. Let's create your export settings. Go to File, Export, Export Location, and choose Specific Folder. Here, choose or create a folder. This is going to be the folder that Headshot Tools will watch with the auto uploader. This is your export folder. Under file naming, do not rename. Just leave it as is. File settings, choose JPEG, 80% or thereabouts, sRGB. Image sizing, choose resize to fit, long edge. And 2048 pixels is a good number, but you can make this any resolution that you want. We just find that 2048 is great for many applications. You can leave it at 240 PPI. Output sharpening if you want, you can turn on. For this example, I'm using first screen. If you have JPEG Mini installed to reduce the file size, this is where you click insert. Otherwise, you won't see this and you just skip it. For post-processing, choose do nothing. And you'll notice on the left side, there's a presets area. You can click add to save all these settings as a preset for later. Now let's set up the auto importer inside of Lightroom Classic. Go to file, auto import, auto import settings. Enable auto import, make sure that's checked. Under watch folder, choose the folder you just created in Smart Shooter to be the watch folder. Under destination, choose a folder to be as your destination folder. This is the folder that Lightroom will move images into that were just moved out of the watched folder. Under image naming, leave everything as file name. This is important that you do not change this as Smart Shooter will do all the naming for you. Under develop settings, if you want to use a preset, this is where you add it. 
Same goes with metadata and keywords. And if you don't want the images to automatically be displayed large in the loop with the main viewer, you can check the box for disable auto advance. Now we have Smart Shooter all set up as well as Lightroom Classic. So the flow looks like this. Double click the participant's name in the dashboard in Headshot Tools. Start photographing that participant and Smart Shooter will rename the images and place them in the first folder. This is the Smart Shooter tether folder. Second, Lightroom will then see that image, move it to the second folder, and import it into the Lightroom catalog, and it will display it on the screen. Then, once you've made any desired uh, adjustments, you can use the export with previous to send the image to the third and final folder, which is being watched by Headshot Tools auto upload utility. You can assign a hotkey for uh, export with previous to a stream deck or another USB button if you'd like, since you're going to be using it quite frequently at your headshot jobs. And here's some pro tips. The shortcut for export with previous can be a bit complex and hard to press, but there are several workarounds to change the keyboard shortcuts. I personally have changed it to Command D and I've added a link to the instructions that can be found below. Sony and Nikon users can use the Smart Shooter plugin to simplify some of these steps, but make sure you get the naming sequence set up properly. The time it takes to display your newly captured images depends on your camera and your computer. If you want to have a workflow that doesn't require an additional app and displays images much faster, we do have a video on setting up Capture One directly with Headshot Tools. So now you have everything set up to work with Lightroom Classic and Headshot Tools by means of Smart Shooter. As always, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to support.